Hi, in this video lesson I'm going to show you five classic Motown bass lines. We all know how famous these Motown bass lines are and they were made even more famous by the standing in the shadows of Motown film and book. I should have really called this the James Jameson lesson as all these bass lines are his. If you haven't yet heard of James Jameson, he's the real Don of Motown appearing on many of the songs from this era. I've tried to vary the artists that these songs are from, and obviously there's so many Motown hits, but I've just chosen five of my favourite hits. I've notated all of these five bass lines and you can get them by clicking the link below in the description, and there's a tab version as well for those of you that don't read music. For this lesson I'm using my old P bass, and this has got flat wound strings on it, and if you roll um, the treble all the way down on the bass um, and use flat wound, you're going to get near to that sort of James Jameson sound. So I'm going to play the bass line first from each track and then I'm going to show you any particular things you need to know to play it. Bass line one is How Sweet It Is To Be Loved By You by Marvin Gaye. So I'll play that for you first. Lines, there's lots of variation as you play the bass line through the song so most of the time I've shown you the first bit of the song the first bit of the bass line um, so learn that look at the PDF and then you can listen to the track and work out any slight variations yourself so we start on an F G B C and there's quite an interesting rhythm here in the third bar So those two bars. So in lots of James Jameson's lines, he really varies and swaps around the rhythm and they're quite syncopated. And we've got a nice variation as well in bars seven and eight. Now this is written in 12-8, so if you think about four strong beats in each bar, and those strong beats are divided up into three as well. So, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So bar seven, for example, we've got one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So it's a good idea to play it slowly and to break the rhythm down and just count it through first of all. One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 And that's that's short, that high C. Okay, then we move on. And that's a verse there, and that's a sort of shuffle beat. And if you look, you go to a first time bar, and then you repeat, and then you go to the second time bar, which is... And then... So that's repeated four times, and then we have this shuffle blues line again. And there's an interesting further along. So really there's two kind of distinctive feels to this bass line. So work your way through this bass line on the PDF and remember there's a tab version as well. So bass line number two is get ready. And 
bass line has this riff that's repeated round and round. And remember to use open notes for the A's and for the D's. Okay, so it's just basically those two sections for Get Ready. We'll move on to bass line three now, which is You Keep Me Hanging On by The Supremes. We start on a high A flat, the sixth fret of the D string, with our little finger, and then down to G flat, and then shift, because then you're in the right position for the rest of the bass line. D flat, E. And you play that riff round and round. Bass line number four is I Was Made To Love Her by the Jackson 5. This bass line has a swing feel to it and it's based on root fifths and octaves again. So we've got G, C, F, E flat, F, and it repeats round and round. So make sure you give that swing feel to the eighth notes. If it didn't have the feel, it would be. And that's a fairly simple one to learn, so remember you've got the PDF with tab as well, you can get that from the description below. We'll move on to bass line number five, which is Reach Out, I'll Be There by The Four Tops. That starts on an E flat. And do a hammer on there. And the easiest way to play that is to use one finger in the right hand. I often use my second finger for this as a sort of rake. You can use your first finger. So that's the um, first time bar. Okay, so practice that. With whatever finger you find easiest. And then we go to the second line bar and then we're into the verse on an A flat. And that repeats four times. And then we move on. And then we've got these eighth notes. And then we go onto the chorus. 
again we've got root fifth and octave for the B flats. E flat, B flat. Okay, so that's enough to learn the whole song. So that covers all the five Motown bass lines. Remember that you can download the PDF with tab of this below in the description. So you've got enough to go away with my recording of the PDF and learn these bass lines yourself. Let me know what you think of these bass lines by leaving a comment below. And also let me know any of your favorite bass lines and I might cover them in a new Motown bass line lesson. Also remember to subscribe to me here on YouTube by clicking the button below. I bring out a new video lesson every Friday. You might also want to sign up for my free membership, which is at gregsbassshed.com. I've got some exclusive bass resources in there and a discussion board that you can join in on. This is Greg from Greg's Bass Shed. I'll see you in the next lesson. Mm -hmm.